here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. All right, with that backdrop, here is the tail of the tape for this welterweight tilt scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Eric Silva, 32 years old, he'll be 33 in three weeks. Yancy Medeiros is 29. Eric Silva, two inches taller, both men weighing in at the welterweight limit, 171 pounds. Medeiros will have a reach advantage of an inch and a half. And now for the official introductions inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Senhoras e senhores do Brasil, bem-vindos! Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, for UFC 212, Aldo versus Holloway. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 13 wins, four losses, one no contest. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds, fighting out of Makaha, Hawaii, presenting Yancy Madera. Love you, Hawaii. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 19 wins, seven losses, one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 171 pounds, fighting at a Villa Velha Espirito Santo Brazil, Eric the Tiger Silva! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eduardo Herdy. Eduardo Herdy, our referee for this one, the main card opener, the beautiful Luciana Andrade with us here in Rio. Glad you are too. Camille and Jenny on hand as well. And we are ready to go from Rio. Eric Silva in the yellow trunks. Yancy Medeiros is in black. Silva in the southpaw stance. Medeiros Orthodox. Medeiros told me the key for him in this fight is he's got a pressure, pressure, pressure. Even though he saw in the last fight for Eric Silva, he saw more patient Eric Silva. He still wants to pressure him keep his back to the fence because he really believes that he'll still fade in round three. Eric could fade, but he has calmed down a lot and he's made a big, a lot of changes to stay calm. But more than anything, the only reason he's ever faded is because he's so quick. He might have a speed and edge, but we haven't seen Eric throw yet. We'll see when these guys start to exchange. Silva has finished all seven of his UFC wins, six of them in the first round. Yeah, an extremely fun fighter to watch. He takes a lot of risks in there and so often puts on fight of the night style performances. Oh, he's had so many seminal moments in the UFC. That inverted triangle against Jason High. That 52 second knockout of Takanori Sato. That set up a main event against Matt Brown back in 2014. Well, he's shown off some really good technique here. Fainting a little bit. He just looked down at the toes of Medeiros before coming up with that high kick. Oh, he's hurt. He had stunned. I think he got hit with the hip of Medeiros early. I think he changed levels and Medeiros hit him in the, hit him with his hip and it rocked him. Medeiros and now he's knows on it. the fence running. Medeiros smells it. He's gonna be all over him. This is where if you're in shape, you recover quickly if you're Eric Silva. We'll find out what kind of cardio he has, what kind of shape he's in. He's looking good, he's on his bike. That's exactly how what you have to do. The second you stay stationary, you're getting eaten up by Madero. So good move by Eric Silva to get on his bike and get his head back together. I'm surprised Medeiros has given him this much room. Surprised he's not jumping on him. I think that Medeiros doesn't want to walk into a big shot. You got to remember, I mean, Eric Silva's change of speed is so explosive. I mean, he's so explosive, you can walk into a big shot if you're not careful. Excellent fate to set up that leg kick. Hard kick. And given Silva's history, Dom, you got to think for the Medeiros camp, a big part of their strategy tonight was to get through these first five minutes. But Yancey's off to a great start here tonight. Yeah, Yancey's doing a great job with the range and tagging him from the outside. It was a very nice spin. Uh, spinning back fisty through, and he's timing things, but he's just getting the range. He's trying to figure out Silva right now and his speed. Right hand appeared to land just around the pectoral of Eric Silva. Medeiros just able to slip his head off of that center line to prevent 
damage being done from that right hand. He's so good at timing that spin back there. Looked like he might have stunned Medeiros up top there. And back to the body. Body shots are hurting. We've seen Medeiros get hurt to the body before. Let's, I think Eric Silva's tagging in, trying to aim for it right now. Nice read on a tall man. Go for the body early. Big right hand lands. And Medeiros slings that right hand like a bat, doesn't he? Yeah, both of these guys having success offensively. Really, whoever's moving forward seems to be the one who's landing frequently. And right now, it's Madero center of the octagon. But Silva's done a nice job changing pace here and breaking that rhythm at times. Well, you see, Silva has his best offense when he's on his back foot. He explodes off that back foot. Yes, he's faking, and he's able to get Eric to not be able to throw. The fakes really are stunning Eric and keeping him stuck on that back foot. He's looking for a big counter, as you see. That's what he's looking for. That's why he's leaning so much. Medeiros has always used his length pretty well. Oh. Less than a minute now to go round one. Oh, excellent combination there from Medeiros. Seen a lot more of that now. Same side hand following with the same side leg. Very difficult to defend. Well, those leg kicks are aiding Medeiros up, and those hurt more than you even think, ladies and gentlemen. That's why he fires right back. I mean, those are so painful. Medeiros can't eat very many more of those. He has to start checking them correctly. And that's going to set up the high kick for Silva. That's why he went for it. The, lower, the more you eat up that lead leg, it sets up the high kick and the body kicks as the fight goes on. Sets it up behind the hands beautifully. Eric Silva going to work on that lead leg. Like to see him go back to the body, though. Ooh, that landed! Madera shakes it off as if to say it didn't land flush. Oh, it landed. I saw it. He just said, hey, I'm fine. <laughs> awesome first round. Outstanding Ooh. pace and round for Eric Silva and Yancey Madera's. And we will assuredly take a look at that knee. Now here's earlier in the round where we saw Eric Sylvia drop. From that angle, you can't really see the left hand land. Here's a different angle. Watch Madero's left hand and over the top right. He may not have been rocked there. Yeah, I think it just replay, clipped him. I'm pretty sure it clipped him right behind his ear. Just kind of stunned Beautiful him. left hook from Eric Silva. He fought his way back into that round, really back and forth. When he throws the jab and across, you're leaving your lead hand down. That's how he caught you. Keep your both hands up. You did well. I think the reason we're seeing Eric Silva leave that lead hand down, he's trying to pull Medeiros in for a big counter shot. That's why he's leaning on that back foot and keeping his jab hand down. But his coach is right. He's got to keep that up because he's going to keep getting pulled into a left hook or a good jab. That's the toughness, too, though. Of, of changing your striking coach, right? I mean, we've seen Eric Silva drop that left hand in a lot of his fights. He's hands down type of guy. And there's the right hand right over the top of that yep. jab hand. You see a concerted effort here from Medeiros after he lands to get back to his range. He's only got a one inch reach advantage. But definitely doesn't want to be in the pocket because as we've seen, Eric Silva seems to be the more explosive guy. Oh! Now Medeiros presses forward. Well, Eric Silva's chin has held up thus far. Both of these guys' chins have held up. Yeah, well, and people were questioning Eric Silva's chin based on the Luan Chagas fight. Luan Chagas throws some heavy, heavy heat, so. As we saw earlier tonight. Yeah, hard to make that a statement just off one fight. Yancey can't eat many more of those. I'm telling you, those leg kicks are adding up, and, and he's eating them heavy in the worst way you can, and he's buckling in. Good excellent, right hand. Excellent work behind his jab here from Medeiros. Silva just out of range with that left hand. And this is plan B for Medeiros. Coming in, he wanted to pressure, pressure, pressure. Here in round two, we're seeing him maintain distance a little bit more, fighting backwards. Sometimes what you expect is going to happen doesn't happen here. You've got to be able to adjust. So far, nice job by Medeiros adapting. Oh, Oof. big punches. 
Didn't get back to his range there in that Goodness. combination. Well, it seems oh. like the confidence has returned for Eric Silva. I mean, you could see the blood starting to come out of the leg of Medeiros there. I mean, it's getting worse and worse. Every time he eats one of those, it's taking a toll on the power bar of Medeiros. Oh! oh, oh my goodness! goodness. for Yancey Medeiros! That left hook was vicious. Eric Silva trying to recover here. That is it! Yancey Medeiros! Eric Silva doesn't like the stoppage at all as he protests, but a good start for Hawaii tonight. Yancey Medeiros coming up large on the road. Wow, what a fight as long as it lasted. This replay is brought to you by Budweiser. This Bud's for you, Dominic Cruz. Let's take a look at the end of the fight. This whole thing starts with a big overhand right, and he comes right back with a super powerful left hook and floors Eric Silva, goes to the ground and pound, vicious left hook. And that was just because Eric Silva's keeping that lead arm down the way his coach was explaining to him in the pocket. I think Eric Silva's got a case there in terms of it being a premature stoppage. He did go cross side right, but he seemed to be intelligently defending himself. But the referee, Eduardo Herdy, had seen enough. Yancey Medeiros with one of the bigger wins of his career here tonight. 2-0 and since moving up to the UFC welterweight division. Heady stuff for the Hawaiian, Dom. Yeah, I mean, that left hook that he just landed and he'd been landing the right hand throughout the fight he found a home for it but really these guys just got stuck in the pocket they were slinging him and it's whoever lands first in these types of scenarios you saw that iraqi both of them land the left hook except this time it was Medeiros. very similar to the carlos condit dan hardy situation when dan hardy landed first right the official decision is brought to you by metro pcs who brings you closer than ever to the ufc on a fast nationwide 4g lte network Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eduardo Hurdy has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, one second of round number two, declaring the winner by TKO, Yancy Madeiras. All right, I'm here with your winner, Yancy Madeiras. Yancy, excellent fight really back and forth. What was the difference for you in the second round? You really came out confident. Estamos aqui com o vencedor Yancy Medeiros, foi uma luta excelente. O que, que fez a diferença ali no segundo round quando você entrou confiante? Obrigado, Brasil! Obrigado! All respect! All respect! I love you, Hawaii! I love you, Kyle! Thank you guys so much. I'm Eric's a pusher, and coach was telling me I was being too passive in the first round. I had to bring in the second round, and that's what it is, I believe. The ref could have kept give, um, let him go a little bit more, but it's not my call. I mean, obrigado, Brazil. Yeah, beautiful, bonita country. Thank you so much. O meu treinador me disse que eu estava sendo um pouco passivo ali no primeiro round. O Eric é um cara muito duro. Eu acho que ele poderia aguentar um pouco mais ali, mas o árbitro parou. Não é meu trabalho encerrar a luta. Well, it was a gorgeous combination to finish the fight. You talked about your training with Max Holloway and your technical progression. Was there something about the left hook after that overhand right that you thought was going to be there? Tem alguma coisa sobre a sua mão esquerda depois da sua direita que entrou que você sabia que estava ali essa mão? I train with the best fighters and martial artists in the world. Gracie Technics, West Oahu MMA, Nick Diaz Academy, Omar Cali fam. I love you boys. I love you Hawaii. That's what it is. I got a great team. And I'm here bro. 170 is my weight. I got that pep in that step and my stride and my glide. I'm here to represent. Eu treino com as melhores equipes do mundo. Esse é o meu peso. Eu tô aqui para representar muito bem. Well, incredible performance coming down here in Brazil. Congratulations. Yancy Medeiros.